the Apostle Paul told these people that grew up in the athletics of nudity that was going on all around them, these people that grew up in the shadow of the largest building in the ancient world that was dedicated to demons, and he said this in chapter 4, that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to deceitful lusts. He said, you, you were steeped feeding your lusts. You, you lived in a way that was displeasing to God. You get saved, and God gives you a new heart and a new spirit. But what Romans tells us is we're still in the flesh. That's the old us. It's the part of us that doesn't want to go along with God. It is the old man, it's called. It's called our flesh. It's called the, the, the rebellion against God that's still within us. Remember Paul in Romans 7 says, what I would do, I don't do. What I don't want to do, I do do. Oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me? Paul wrote that in his 50s after planting churches all over the world. He's still struggling with his flesh. See, it's never over. We're never perfected. Per Christian perfectionism is a false teaching. We never are perfect until we're glorified by God. So what do we do? Well, this verse 22 reminds me of shaving, okay? And so all of you men can understand this. Every day, I get up, this morning I got up at five o'clock and I leaned over and I looked in the mirror and I was covered with all these little black specks. And they're prickly and they, you know, they're rough and, and I had to take the, you know, the shaving cream and, and scrape them off one at a time. Now, if you're from maritime places, like here in Florida, boats get barnacles on them. And a boat, just going through the water, these little microorganisms get on there and they grow and grow and grow, and gradually as they calcify and get bigger and bigger, it starts dragging on the boat. And so you have to take the boat out, put it in dry dock, and scrape the barnacles off, just like I scrape my whiskers off. Paul says in verse 22, scrape off the old way. Have you ever met someone who says, oh, I lost my temper? What do they usually do? They get angry. I tell them, you didn't lose it, you just found it. Oh, you would lose it. You need to lose your temper. You need to scrape off the old angry, selfish, fearful ways. Do we do it in our own strength? No. What Paul said, look at what he's saying. You have not, verse 20 of chapter 4 of Ephesians, learned of Christ, if indeed you've heard him and been taught by him, the truth is in Christ, that you put off, verse 22. Verse 23, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Verse 24, put on. So it's a process. It's just like getting ready every day. You scrape off, you take the shower, then you put on the new. That's what spiritual living is like. It's just like getting ready. And that's why so many people have their devotions in the morning. The devotion is I look in the mirror, like I did this morning at five, and go, oh, boy, we need a little work there. And you work and shower, and then you put on the new. And that's how Paul said, you continue grace-prompted shedding, getting rid of the old, grace-prompted thinking, renewing your mind, grace-prompted wearing that whole new creation we are in Christ. 